Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by webvidpets.com. In this video we are going to learn how to create a web page using HTML. And this is video 1 in the HTML training series. So let me just go ahead and give you a little brief introduction of what HTML is and what it can do for you. Basically HTML is a language that you use to code into and make web pages with and HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and so you can make websites with it, web pages and different things like that. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what HTML looks like. Let's just go to webvidtuts.com website and let me go ahead and show you what HTML code looks like. Okay, this is what HTML, HTML looks like. It's a bunch of codes that you'll use to create a website like this. Each one of these things is brought up, to, brought, uh, <laughs> brought up by codes in HTML. And you'll notice that HTML has these tags that they have, such as title tag, uh, HTML tag, and different things like that that we'll, we'll, we will be using throughout all of the training course. So how do you start coding in HTML? Well, there's two different ways you can start coding. You can either use a straight text editor, such as Notepad or Notepad++, or you can use the a GUI interface editor, such as Dreamweaver, and I believe Visual Studio. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. But for this series, we are going to strictly use a straight text editor because with GUI editors you can you can uh, make web pages really quick but you don't even have to really require any HTML knowledge to make any web page with Dreamweaver as it's pretty much like a drag and drop uh, sort of program to start creating web pages now let's go ahead and just start coding in some HTML what you want to do is, if you're Windows 7 or any type of Windows, just go ahead and uh, type Notepad and bring Notepad up. Okay, here's our Notepad right here. Let me go right there. All right. So uh, <clears throat> this is where we will begin coding in our HTML. But before we begin any coding at all, let's go ahead and get to the file, and we're going to save this document real quick. I'm just going to save it in my Documents folder. You can put it in any folder you want, but um. When we save it, let's go ahead and name the file real quick. We'll put my first site. I will name web web page. If I can spell it right. There we go. And after you type that, usually you'll want to hit save, but we can't do that right now. What you have to do is go to where it says save as type and bring it from text documents. We are bringing that down to all files. What this is going to do is allow us to save the web page not only as a text document but to name it as a HTML file. And how do we save it as the HTML file? See where it says file name right here? Go ahead to the rightmost of it and just type .html. And now this is going to save the web page as a HTML document that we can load into our browser and view. <clears throat> okay, now you can go ahead and click save after this, all files are selected in .html. Let's go ahead and save that, and we have it saved. Now, my HTML is made up of the HTML page is made up of a bunch of tags, and right now I'm going to show you all the tags that you need to uh, have in each web page to begin with. Uh, just go ahead and follow along what I type, and you'll be fine. So HTML. Alright, this is the basic structure of each and every single web page that uses HTML. <coughs> Alright, let me go ahead and while you're, I think you're probably still typing this, let me go ahead and explain what each of these things are. Each of these does something, each tag. Um, this, for instance, is a opening tag. And this is a closing tag. 
once you open an, a tag up, you have to have a closing tag in HTML because that's just how it works. Um, for instance, we have our HTML tag here, we have a closing, we have a head tag right here, we have a head closing, we have our two title tags, one of them opening, one of them closing. We have our body tags, one of them opening, one of them closing. Okay, what the HTML tag does is just basically says like, hey, I'm a web page and I'm being coded in HTML. And the head tag, you can put like here, where I'm typing right now, usually you want to put stuff that's not going to be in the content or the body of the page. The body is where all the content will go, and but like uh, the content I'm talking about is all the stuff that's going to appear in your web browser itself, such as all this right here. This is in the body or the content of the page. Um, in the head tag, you'll also put like the meta tags, the meta keywords, and stuff uh, that's for search engines, and some search engines, and everything, and also maybe some JavaScript coding or some PHP coding that's not in the body or the content of the page but we'll go with that in a different training series I think I have a PHP training series coming up uh, the title tag uh, the title tag is the title of the web page as for this one it's webvidtouch.com or let's go to ESPN.com real quick and whatever appears in the tab on the browser like the title of this page is ESPN the worldwide leader uh, in sports and that's what the title does. It just puts it up there. And then we have our closing title and then our closing head. As I said before, the body tag is where all of our content that's going to display on the web page is going to go. Um, let's go ahead and start filling a little bit of this out. Uh, let's go ahead and between the two title tags, just type my first site. And that's going to appear in the title of the web page. So it's going to appear in tab, any tab that you're using. And in our body, let's go ahead and just put, we just made a web page. We're really excited. <laughs> All right, and go ahead and save that. And since it's between the body tags, what it's going to do when you first run your uh, HTML page or your web page, it's going to output or display inside the content of the web browser we just made a web page with three exclamation points now let's go ahead and just uh, open up this web page uh, go ahead to where you saved it I saved mine in my documents right here and uh, the page will be right in your, wherever you saved it and I saved mine as my first web page HTML so it's right there you might not have the HTML extension because I have my extensions on right now. So if it just says my first web page, then that's okay because it's you probably don't have just have your file extension on. There's two ways to open this. If you have an icon next to it, then you can open it with your default browser by double clicking it like this and like that. Or if nothing is selected and you don't have a default browser, go ahead and go open with and Usually you'll have some browsers right here, or choose default program, you'll have your browser right there, or if it ain't right there, then other programs or anything. Or if in Windows 7, you can just drag it to your browser like that, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and open the web page by double clicking it. And there you go, we just made a web page. But why can't I. Okay, there it goes. And see, just what we put on there, we made a web page, and it outputs right there in the body of the. Or the content, and then the title is my first site, and look what happened. My first site right there. All right, uh, we can go ahead and edit this too to make it say something else, and we can reload the page to actually output we'll put again. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the body of the tag, and then we will uh, reload the page, and something else will appear right there. Let's put uh, this text is changing. Go ahead and save that. Usually I just use Control S to save, but we'll just show you saving. And go ahead right here and reload the page, and it's, this text is changing. And there you go. Uh, that is basically all for this tutorial right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe. Uh, do all that good stuff to our channel on YouTube. And also subscribe to the webthetouch.com site. Um, that is all, and thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next video. Goodbye.